हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी क्लास सेवन्थ सायन्स चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स मेजरमेंट ऑफ फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज कंप्लीट एक्सरसाइज सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट आंसर टू द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चंस इन योर ओन वर्ड्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाई इज द वेट ऑफ द सेम ऑब्जेक्ट डिफरंट ऑन डिफरंट प्लैनेट्स आंसर द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स दैट एक्ट ऑन दिस मास इज कॉल्ड इट्स वेट When any object on the earth is pulled by the gravitational force it it gets attracted to the center of the earth this is called its weight on the earth but on different planets the gravitational force may be of different magnitude therefore the weight of the same object will be different on the different planet second question what precautions will you take to make accurate measurement in day to day affairs answer proper instrument should be used while taking any measurement second point these instrument should be used by proper and scientific procedure third point we must check that the things which we buy have been weighed properly by standardized weights and balance fourth point the shopkeepers and hawkers use balances we must confirm that these balances carry the stamp of standardization fifth point the balance should be stable with its pointer in the upright position next point the underside of the balance should be checked for any tampering done the weights used should be the proper metal next question what is the difference between mass and weight answer first point the amount of matter present in the substance is called mass and the gravitational force that acts on this mass is called its weight second point mass is a scalar quantity and weight is a vector quantity mass remains the same everywhere and the weight may differ in different places and in different conditions question number 2 who is my companion here group a and group b is given first velocity that is meter per second second area square meter third volume liter fourth mass kilogram density kilogram per cubic meter question number 3 explain giving example first scalar quantity answer scalar quantity is completely expressed by its magnitude alone example length breadth area mass temperature density time work etc in scalar quantity only magnitude that is a value with a unit is used to express it b vector quantity answer vector quantity is expressed completely only when magnitude and directions are both given examples are first the displacement of 20 km to the north and displacement of 20 km to the east is different from each other here the distance is same but the direction of the displacement is different from each other second point the aeroplane traveling at the speed of 500 km per hour to the north and the another aeroplane traveling 500 km per hour to the east are different from each other here the speed is same but in second the direction of velocity is different 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एक्सप्लेन गिविंग एग्जाम्पल द एरर्स दैट ऑकर वाइल मेकिंग मेजरमेंट्स द मेजर कॉजेस ऑफ एरर्स इन द मेजरमेंट आर एज फॉलोज फर्स्ट नॉट यूजिंग द एप्रोप्रिएट डिवाइस एट द टाइम ऑफ मेजरमेंट फर्स्ट द हॉकर्स एंड शॉपकीपर्स मे नॉट यूज स्टैंडर्डाइज वेट एट द टाइम ऑफ बिजनेस दे मे यूज स्टोन पीसेस और सम अदर मैटर दिस रिजल्ट इन इन एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द मेजरमेंट सेकंड पॉइंट द बैलेंस मे नॉट बी वर्किंग प्रॉपरली थर्ड पॉइंट समटाइम्स वाइल यूजिंग पेट्रोल और डीजेल द इंडिकेटर्स ऑन द मशीन मे नॉट वर्क प्रॉपरली सेकंड पॉइंट नॉट यूजिंग द डिवाइस प्रॉपरली फर्स्ट पॉइंट इन डेली लाइफ वी कम अक्रॉस मेनी इक्विपमेंट्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट सच एज वेइंग बैलेंस स्प्रिंग बैलेंस रूलर मेजरिंग टेप डिफरेंट वेट ऑफ स्पेसिफिक वैल्यू मेजरिंग व्हेसल्स फॉर मिल्क एक्सेट्रा सेकंड पॉइंट सेकंड पॉइंट व्हाइल वेइंग ऑन बैलेंस द जर्क गिवन कॉजेज पॉइंटर टू फ्लेक्चुएट एंड गिव इम रीडिंग नेक्स्ट थर्ड पॉइंट वाइल मेजरिंग द क्लॉथ फ्रॉम द बंडल द शॉपकीपर मे नॉट मेजर्स द क्लॉथ विथ एक्यूरसी कस्टमर शूड ले कीन अटेन्शन टू द मेजरमेंट वाइल बाइंग थिंग्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव गिव रीजन्स फर्स्ट इट इज नॉट प्रॉपर टू मेजर क्वांटिटीज बाय यूजिंग बॉडी पार्ट्स एज यूनिट्स The measurement of the body parts for every persons will be different. There is no standardization of any kind. Therefore, it is not proper to measure quantities by using body parts. Second question: It is necessary to get the weights and measures standardized at regular intervals. Answer: Due to constant use, the weights and the weighing apparatus may lose their standardization. Using such devices may result into malpractice. Therefore, it is necessary to get the weights and the measures standardized at the regular intervals. Next question: Question number six. Explain the need. for accurate measurement and the devices to be used for that the need for accurate measurement is dependent on the following factors the measurement of anything should be absolutely accurate in our daily life if measurements are not done properly it may have long lasting bad effects second point measurement of precious substances is extremely important also the substances used in very small quantities have to be measured meticulously and accurately example precious metals of gold and silver should be accurately measured third point proper instrument are now available due to advancement in science and technology devices that measures very small magnitude of quantities like distance mass time and temperature are now available these devices and instrument should be used with precision fourth point digital thermometer are not used for the measurement of the body temperature accurately dear students today we have completed class 7th chapter number 6 measurement of physical quantities complete exercise if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you